Hi again guys, it's me, Skipster for Life, and we're finally back with another episode of East Shade. I hope you all had a great holiday season, I know I did, and also, I just opened the game of course, and look in the bottom right corner. Wishlist our upcoming game now, Songs of Glimmerwick, they're making another one? Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. When that comes out, I'll have to, <laughs> I'll have to play it on here, and uh, make some videos of it. But yeah, so without further ado, let's continue our game. I'm very excited to get back to East Jade. Oh gosh, I forgot. There's the <laughs> the really loud storm outside. Ew. Okay, well let's talk to the innkeeper. Welcome to the inn below the tarnished teapot. Is that what this place is called? Mm, correct. It doesn't have a name? That is the name. We once had another name. But everyone just called us that inn below the tarnished teapot. <laughs> I don't really blame them. This place is a bit of a dump. The manager has really let it go. Who's the manager? Me. <laughs> Why is it dumpy? It's cold and damp. Tiny windows. Smells a little stale. At least the front door's nice and big. That's a plus, <laughs> I suppose. Hey, there's always a silver lining, right? Why don't you fix it up? Uh, sounds hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a room. You sure? We have that. <laughs> I'm sure. If you really want, <laughs> first door on your left. Thanks, man. I love that. Oh, pick topic? Let's ask I him about Nava. on the mainland years ago. Working as a bricklayer was terrible. Hated every minute. <laughs> then my grandma died. Bless her soul. Aww. And left me a son. Quit my job that day and got the first ship here. For no reason in particular. Just wanted to leave. Bought this dumpy floor for dirt cheap. Didn't really know what I was doing. Now this city's a boom town and I'm living off the reverse mortgage. Just goes to show. <laughs> act impulsively and sometimes. You get rich. That's what I've learned anyway. <laughs> oh, and have some inheritance. Yeah. Great. I love how I asked him about Nava and then he went and told his whole life story. <laughs> <sighs> well, okay. Thanks, my man. So it's first door on the left. That's our room. Can't break in. Ah, oh, we can't break in there. Oh, what? And yeah, we can't break in there. Okay. I love how that's my first thought is, ooh, can we break into all the other rooms? Okay. So that's obviously the bed. Ooh, we get a candle. Oh, a book! Explorer's Guide to the Tiffmore Bluffs. We can't go there yet, but we will eventually. <laughs> the remote Tiffmore Bluffs are a well-enjoyed destination for East Shadians. The bluffs were once filled with bustle following the industrious wind power boom. Today, that excitement has settled, and travelers are now greeted by the gentle turning of windmills. Fields of endless herbs lure wild crafters to the area, and those knowing where to look may even view the remains of ancient ruins in the landscape. Anyone exploring the region should be sure to pack a coat or supply of mead to protect against the freezing winds swept upon the bluffs at night. For extra enjoyment, be sure to bring a tea kettle to take advantage of the many herbs growing on this wonderful land. Oh. I guess let's sleep so the storm can go away, right? Eh, and it's 4.57pm. We might as well sleep till the morning. What did I say? Like 8am is like the perfect time? Perfect. Let's do that. 
so funny. That guy's so down on his end. It looks so pretty. <laughs> If I got to stay there in real life, I'd be like, ooh, yes. So look, it's just... you. Okay, cool. We stayed the night there. Welcome to the inn below the tarnished <laughs> teapot. <laughs> I love the way he talks. <laughs> that was a mid, dude. Okay. Obviously, there's nothing there or there. Let's go upstairs. Ooh, posters. Sailor in the sea. Tonight in the tarnished teapot, 7 o'clock. An everlasting life. The most flavorful way to a longer, happier life. Hmm. Look, it's a whole little, what, tavern sort of place? It'd be nice if I could, like, you know, buy tea or something from any of the people here. <laughs> Anyone to talk to? Any random supplies to steal? Up here. Oh, is that a mini game? I forgot that, that was a thing. Oh my gosh! Candle. Haha! -ha, I knew there would be something. Hole. <gasps> Ooh, that's fun. Ooh. What in the world is this, though? Is it just a fun little <laughs> marble thing? <gasps> it is pretty satisfying, though. Oh man, look at that. Okay. Oh, we'll leave. Cool. We'll have to come back here at, um, <clears throat> seven o'clock. I won't exactly spoil why, but, you know. Ah, oh, nice and sunny. Now we can truly enjoy the city of Nava. Look how pretty. Okay, well, let's check. What do we need? So we've got these ones still. Okay. This guy's patching up his fence. I should check back tomorrow to make sure the vermin are gone. Oh, we could do that. Okay. And then there's the marketplace. Let's go do the the little mice. And go see if um the mice have left that guy alone. Okay, now see, look how pretty this is. Oh, the little mice updated. See, the city looks so pretty when it's not storming. Don't get me wrong, I love a good thunderstorm, but the thunderstorm <laughs> from last episode was, um, insane. So, you know. Yeah. So let's go head over and chat with that one farmer dude. Oh, perfect. We're already here. It comes. No! God dang it! I hope that doesn't trigger it again. If it did, I... I quit. Oh, <laughs> yeah, traveler! Alas, those carrot chompers are still at it. 
Seems oh, the no. mice are trapped inside my new fence. Odd though, they never leave so much as a stem behind. Hungry little creatures, aren't they? Hmm. Anything I can do to help? Why don't you stop by K and K Apothecary? Kai and Kaylin should have some repellent that'll send any critters bolting. They live west of here, along the riverbank on the south side of the plush woods. See you soon. Okay. Let's go to the apothecary. Yeah, I remembered them being this way. I could be totally and utterly wrong, though. You know? Oh, okay. I see. They're way over this way. Here we go! Here they are on the right. Oh, this- this is a pretty view, too. Hi. We have to stop taking Finn's crops. It's not like I enjoy it either, but what choice do we have? We haven't made a single sale in weeks! How is that even possible? It's just... Oh, that poor sweet man. Oh. He blames the vermin as it is. We're not doing him any actual harm. We can't steal his crops forever. At some point, he's going to realize. That gullible old fool. He wouldn't believe we were stealing from him if we walked up and took the shoes right off his feet. I can't uh, believe uh, you, Kai. We need to figure out a better way. Dang, that dude's a savage. Let's take all their stuff. How about that? Candle? Yes, please. I think, yep, that's all we can take from them. Oh, uh... <laughs> I didn't realize anyone was there. Uh, what do you want? <laughs> so you're stealing from Finn? No one's buying herbs like they used to. You understand? Not sure I do. You'd best not tell anyone about this. It would kill Finn to hear anything bad about his neighbors, you hear? I don't mean to sound so sinister, you know. It's just... Yeah. It's been hard since Kaylin's father stopped supporting us. We thought we could make it on our own, but... Uh, well, truth is, no one seems to have much use for an apothecary. <laughs> Not out in these parts, anyway. I don't right know where everyone's getting their goods. Maybe it's time we moved hmm. on from East Shade and found ourselves a place where we can make a proper living. Actually... There may be something you could help us with. One last try to make it here before we call it quits. Will you help us? Yeah. Okay. You'll help us? Oh, this will mean so much to Kaylin. What do I need to do? Have you met Annika? I'm willing to bet she'd help out. But Kaylin's always saying Annika has a generous soul. Uh, even if she isn't all there. <laughs> she is she a little cookie. She in the southwest of the Great Shade. Yes, I know where she is. <laughs> We've met. Why her? Why not ask Finn? Somehow, people around here came to knowing she has more glowstones than many of the rest of us. I'm guessing she doesn't spend too much. Too preoccupied with uh, other things. Like birds? Just... See if you can borrow 600 glowstones. 600? That's steep. Well, why don't... Why don't you do it? Word may have gotten around. We had to borrow a bit. At this point, we're embarrassed to show our faces around East Shade. Well, whose fault oh, is that? Out. If she needs convincing, just... Tell her it's anyone besides us asking. Go, give it your best. Hmm. Okay, well, but we gotta talk to... What's your face? Kaylin? Is that her name? Oh, this is so unlike yeah. us. We never wanted to steal from Finn, you know. 
I would have done anything else if I could. I... I'm horrified by what we've done to such a sweet old man. Yeah, um... You probably should be. <laughs> oh, I forgot there's a map, guys! Ooh. Yay! I love me a map! Okay. So we're here. Ish. No, we're here. That's it. The King Key Apothecary. We need to go, I guess, talk to Annika. I mean, honestly, I don't really want to, you know, lie to get them money. I'm not really a person who um, likes handouts, you know? Or at least if you're asking for help, you should be asking for help for you. Not like having someone else ask. Uh... <laughs> And lie that it's for someone else. Uh, <laughs> it's all pretty uh, shady. Or I guess you could say East Shady. Ha, <laughs> get it? <laughs> oh gosh. Man, I just cannot get over how stunning this game is. It never fails to just wow me every time I play it. Ooh. It's a little laggy when I sprint. Not really, but just a tiny bit. It's because I have the graphics up so high. It needs to load everything in. Okay, let's talk to her. Here we go. Broke a pot this morning. And you know what? I don't even mind. Today's just my day. You go, girl. <laughs> oh god, here we go. I could use your help. Of course. It wouldn't be a bird identification issue by any chance. I wish. No, can you lend me some glowstones? Or er, someone's glowstones. Well, tell me what you need in glowstones for. I'm helping a friend. You need me to give you glowstones so you can help a friend. And tell me, what's the name of this friend? They asked me not to tell. Right, of course. And where on the island might I find this person? Near Blushwood Forest. I see, I see. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot help you help your friend. Why? Financial troubles north of here. No doubt you've been spending time with Kai and Kaylin. I could be talking about Edna. What if I am? Kaylin's a sweetheart, but that Kai, a weasel if I ever heard of one. What did he do? But you're new to East Shade. Lots of people didn't like back when Kai was overcharging for potions. Not that it bothered me so much, but he sure upset a lot of other people. Why is he a weasel then? He steals from owls, of course. The most magnificent of all creatures. You see, owls love rubbing their beaks against the soft part of the black thistle. It comforts them. Ah. And Kai simply waltzed into the great shade and snatched black thistle. An endangered plant, I'll have you know. And stuck it into some potion to sell. Kai is no friend to owls. Who would do something so terrible? Can't you forgive him? Once a snake, always a snake. I can't help you. And whatever you do, don't pick the black thistle. Bye I now. don't plan on it. Unless there's an emergency and I need it for a quest. Magically, somehow. So I guess let's go and, uh, talk to Kai and Kaylin. Tell them that, uh, sorry, but they're crap out of luck.
Oh, look, it's the eclipse. Oh, let's watch it. Oh, look at that. That's screenshot worthy right there. It's gorgeous. So cool. What is this? Oh, it's just a stump. I don't know why, but it looked weird. <laughs> yeah, let's talk to Kaylin before we go in and I'm I'm sorry. I'm just not feeling like myself at the moment. I mean, what kind of people are we? What have we become? Spoke with Annika. Oh, what a lovely woman. Don't listen to what my husband says about her. I haven't made it to Southland in some time. How is Annika doing? I may have used an endangered plant. One of Kai's potions? Oh, he better not have. No, he wouldn't. For good grief, those days are long behind him. I'm... I'm sorry. I'm just not feeling okay. like myself at the moment. You just I need mean, to fix your mistake. Well, you're right. We made our beds, full of lice and thorns, I suppose. And now to sleep in them. We'll need to make this up to Finn somehow. I hope you do. I'm Okay. I'm sorry. Let's oh, try. I spoke with Annika. Woman. Don't listen to what my husband says. She about seems great. Hear it. And does she seem in need of any tinctures or sorry potions? This is um, not the time. Uh, was she able to offer us anything? Mm. Sorry, no. Yeah, let's go talk to Kai. You spoke to Annika already? What did she say? You overcharged people? How did you know? You told her it was me asking? No. She anyway, figured it that out. was years ago. <laughs> it wasn't overcharging, exactly. I was young, you know. It was long before I was even with Kaylin. I might not have always been a model citizen, but Kaylin right straightened me out. Sure, dude. <laughs> what about your crop stealing habit? <sighs> You know, someone once told me a story about a woman who couldn't feed her family. She took to stealing scraps, gets caught, and goes to jail. Tell me, how's that right? Can't feed her family. What's she supposed to do? Grow her own. But this can't be about overcharging. We had plenty of customers long after Grow those days. Crops. Annika isn't holding my past against me, is she? We charge a fair price. Uh, or we would if anyone ever set foot in here. It's more about the endangered plants. But what do you mean, endangered plant? Oh, is that why people stopped coming around? But wh why would anyone believe I used something that's protected? I mean, I like plants as much as the next shade folk, but I'd never touch a protected plant, I swear! Annika mentioned the potion Hydra Thistle. What? My Hydra Thistle? Huh. Well, now that I think about it, I guess I could see why people got that idea, but oh, criminy! Why didn't anyone just ask me about it? This is why we've been broke all these years! Man. You didn't use the endangered plant? No, of course not. <laughs> Far too risky to use those protected bits of foliage. That's a game I don't mess around with. Smart. Look, you haven't seen the best of us. But we've got a lot to offer if we just had a chance. Can you help us? Yes, now tell me how. <laughs> Here's my Hydra Thistle. Find someone to test it, like a scientist. Help me prove I didn't use any protected plants. Nava will certainly have someone who can figure that out. Check the offices on the third floor of the common quarter. Okay. Take potion. Please hurry. We can't survive much longer without any customers. Yep, I want them to have customers. But 
but I don't want them to steal. I'm sorry, I'm just not feeling like myself at the moment. You're right. We'll need to make okay. this up to Finn somehow. I was wondering if she had any new dialogue or anything. Okay, so we need to go back to Nava. I'm not even going to worry about, you know, following the path or anything. Got to remember to keep grabbing stuff while I'm walking. <laughs> getting there oh wait so this is the other little house i don't think we had a chance to explore last episode yeah because i already see something inside of it Ooh, candle yes please okay oh yeah there's a map there oh that's cool so any where there's a moon, it lets you know where there's uh, an overnight inn. That's cool. I mean, there's only four. We've gone to three of the four so far. Ooh, okay. Dear Victor. Maybe it's just like Victor, but anyways. How I have missed you, only three months into my journey, and a large part of me wonders if it was an utter folly. I can't help but think of all the work you're doing in the shade without my help. Your dedication to the park is what inspired me to set out in search of my dearest passion. But what I've found is that the world feels smaller without you by my side. For all the endless islands and new cities, I still find myself wishing to spend an evening by the fire with you. And so I have decided to return early. I had planned to surprise you, but couldn't wait. The world is beautiful, but even still, the vision of you is the one I cherish most. With love, Nils. P.S. I look forward to hearing about the birth of the water fox kits. They'll be nearly full grown by the time I return. Ah! <gasps> Aw, that <laughs> water was so sweet. I think that's the park ranger. Maybe the park ranger's significant other. Maybe that's why he's so grumpy. It's because they're not <laughs> here yet. Or maybe because that's what they were looking forward to. But he can't do it. Okay, anyways, we'll have to do the water fox one this episode. The quest. Okay, building a campfire. Campfire is a handy tool for those wishing to brave the cold nights of East Shade, build one of Coast Day for campsite, and brew tea. Um, there's a schematic. Yep. Cool. So I believe that means we can actually can't make a campfire now. Yes, we have the campfire. The fire pit, yeah. So keep my campsite nice and warm. So that's cool because I believe we can just have one campfire. And then we can like take it and then replace it and take it and replace it. So we don't have to stay inns. Yeah. Pretty cool. Anyways, we'll stop snooping around the poor park ranger's house. <laughs> Sounds like probably a good idea. Here we go. So let's back into Nava. Let's double check a quest real quick. I learned what I needed to know. Oh, I should check back with Finn. Oops. I forgot we're on like technically a new quest for them. Okay. Fine, we're gonna check back with Finn, then we're gonna go to Nava.
Okay. And he should be right here. And can we hop the fence? No. <laughs> Hi, -de -ho! Hi, dude. A great traveler returns. Uh -huh. Were you able to get some repellent? Uh, they didn't have any. Or no, we'll say I overheard something strange. I and Kaylin, well, they would never. Oh, you're a good person, just looking out for me and my carrots. And I do have days where I wonder myself if I'm dreaming up the mice in my head. Never actually seen the little buggers, but them two, positively impossible. Your heart's in a good place. You'll see. These mice will be out of there in no time. I don't have the repel. Oh, well. Can't win them all, I guess. Who knows? Maybe my big ugly mug will scare the little creatures away. On guard! Special veggie stew coming right up. See you soon. Well, thanks for the ten glowstones. Sorry, my dude. But I don't think you'll have to worry about them anymore. Okay, yeah, so back to Nava. And we'll go find a scientist. Okay, imagine sprinting over this bridge. I'm scared of heights. I could never. I could never walk over this bridge. <laughs> oh man, it's so pretty. Just look. Oh wow. That's so cool. Th th what a cool touch. The streets are still wet from like when it rained. Like that to me is just super cool. Okay, wait, wait. So let's go over this way actually. Okay. Should we in this part? Trying to wrap up all the outside of Nava quests before we get too into the Nava stuff. Okay. Nothing down here. Let's go up. Is this the library? Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Man, my game's like a little bit laggy right now. Oh, a book! Okay, a history of Navian tea. The floral scent of tea fields is one which all Navians think of fondly and look forward to in the rainy season. Though much of the agriculture in Nava has turned to pea farming, the Navian steppes host the... That's an interesting way to spell steppes. <laughs> host the island's largest tea fields with some plants over 55 years old. Okay, I'm not gonna waste your time reading this all out loud. But this is talking about a type of tea. And the history of it. Cool. Oh. Always good to see a new face. Let me know if I can help you with anything. The topic. Uh -huh. I love it here. There's really no part of town I'd be worried to let my two daughters play unsupervised. I moved here right out of college when my longtime resident aunt wrote to me about a job opening in the library. It was quite a great distance for me to move considering it was a bit of a paltry opening at the time. But 20 years later as head librarian, I can't say I have any regrets. Nice. All right, see ya. Just gonna do a quick little once over.
Yeah, I don't think there's anything down here. It's time to head up. <laughs> Here's the door. Let's explore. <laughs> Ooh, stuff to take. And a book to read. Sweet. I had a dream last night. I can't remember the details now, but when I woke up, everything was different. I don't know how else to say it, but suddenly the sun felt brighter, and the air is so sweet like it's been scented by roses. I looked out my window for what might have been the first time. I never realized how beautiful the city looks from up here. I have so many ideas, so many things I want to write about. I wrote 11 pages this morning at the tea house, and they were good pages. I just read back through them. I'm off to work now, but I can't wait. Until this evening. AP. That's cool. Sounds pretty good. Locked. Dang it. Guess we can't break into everywhere. That's also locked. Oh, not locked. Haha. <laughs> Ooh, a painter. That's right. Let's read your house first. Stock. Rounder there. Then a straight line here. Yes, that looks better. Oh. Okay. Guess I can't talk to her yet. Oh. Hello. Don't mind if I steal all your belongings. Oh, candle. Perfect. Okay. Trade here, trade there. So many folk are scurrying about. Are you a trader? A trader? I suppose you could say that. A trader of sorts. Just take a look at all those shiny things coming in the markets. Sad day when my leg stopped working quite so well. Haven't made it down to the lower level in some time. That's too bad. Say, I heard from some other folks that you're one of the most helpful people in Eastshade. Do you have time to help an old woman? Of course. Excellent, excellent. You and I, young friend. I can tell we're gonna make a fine pair. Yeah. What do you need me to do? Been a long time since I had a partner of any sort. Oh, I feel ten years younger. I'm embarrassed to admit. I left a precious box up north, in the caverns. You know, the howling caverns on the Teeth Moor Bluffs? I must have left it there. I think I know how to get there. It was years ago. Mind you, that I left it behind. Longer, actually. I was still a young girl. Spent time playing all over East Shade. That box was one of my favorite possessions. Passed down from my mother. What kind of box is this? It has some decoration, you know. Not too much. It's a rather simple wooden box, I think. I'll get it for you as soon as I can. Mm-hmm. Okay, and here's where I need to go. Scientist person. Maybe. Okay, let's talk. A new face. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Zara, assistant research scientist here at the university. Could you test Kai's potion for me? You want me to check for trace elements of endangered plants? I enjoy running tests, 
Just give me the potion in a few minutes. Sweet. That was easy. Seems you're in luck. No trace of any endangered or illegal substances in here. Here's the full report. Come back if you have anything else for me to test. A fine day for science. Do you know of Melik? He's the merchant selling the so-called elixir of life down in the market. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sneezed. Oh. Uh, no, I do not. I have a favor to ask of you. Do you think you could perhaps go to Melek's shop in the market and buy me one of said elixirs? I'll buy it from you at twice what it's worth. Oh. Why do you want one? I'd like to run some tests on it. I've heard the claims, and let's just say I'm skeptical. This elixir of life seems to be quite a trendy product in the city. And if this Melek mm -hmm. fellow is cheating folks out of their hard-earned glowstones, I'd like to know the truth of it. Makes sense. I'll pick you up an elixir. You can find me here just about any time. I'm always working. <sighs> <laughs> Mood. Okay. That's all from her. Oh, sweet. We got Kai's potion tested. So, in here is the guarded staircase that leads to the very top of the building. The only way to get up there is... I forget how. But, that's one of the paintings we need for the Mother's Last Wishes quest. So, we will eventually be getting up there. Sorry, you can't go up there right now. We're doing some renovations. Mm -hmm. When can I go up? <sighs> Hard to say. Maybe in ten months, give or take. <laughs> it could be longer if we hit Ten months. Lane. Casually just... You know, ten months. So, is there any way you'll let me through? Well, you need a pass. Any official from the university should be able to give you one. Ah. Okay, Have bye. A good one. You too. You're not doing renovations. I'll tell you that much. There's literally nothing going on up there. <laughs> okay. So, let's see what we need to do. Um, the top of Nava. Oh, right, okay, so that's just... Oh, so Zara's from the university, so if we do her quest, we might be able to get the pass to get to the top of the building. Second chances, that's what we need to do. Okay, I should bring the test report back to Kai. Let's head on back. Hello, sir. That's a fine hat you've got. Hello, owl. That's a fine feather you've got. Okay. Hello. Yep, so time to head all the way back. Okay. At least it's gorgeous. Shoot, is it getting dark out? Poop. Yes, it's time to craft that fire. <laughs> Let's just quickly uh sprint over this way. And we'll just place it as soon as it gets we start to freeze. Yeah. That, that works, right? 
I'll just sprint around with this. Whoa, what the heck? That's so cool. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay. That's cool. Well, I'm glad we found that little hidden nugget. That's so cool. Like, this game... Ugh. Not only is just, you know, the design, the graphics, the quests, all of it, just amazing. The painting mechanics. They, <laughs> they also hide these little nuggets. That's so cool. Okay, we're here. At last. Oh, it's getting dark. <laughs> Fire. Poop. I just... Oh. Ah, I'm so dumb. Okay. Let's build it right here. And then, we can go stand by it. Please tell me you had that Hydra Thistle tested. <laughs> Why is he so close? Heck, she may have packed a few already. Oh no. She's been so upset. I don't know if she thinks we'd even go with no glowstones to our name. Zara tested it. Here's the report. Oh, for the great shade. Next time, tell a man all's well. Don't just hand over a report. Oh, you made my heart right jump out of my skin. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you. I have to tell Kaylin the good news. And the paper! Great gods, the paper! Oh, I need to let all of Eastshade know that I'm someone to be trusted. Thank you. Mm-hmm. No customers yet, but with any hope, that'll change soon. Mm-hmm. And I do think it will. Because after we investigate the uh, elixir of life thing... I'm... Well, let's just say... I'm sorry. Just not feeling like myself at the moment. I mean, I cleared your husband's name. Oh, oh, thank the great shade. Kai will be thrilled to hear it. Mm -hmm. Surely this will turn things around for the business. Yes, indeed. And my fire, my lovely little fire. Wait, can I not? Is this just placed here forever now? <gasps> Whoa, if I right click it moves me forward? Oh, that's wild. Oh, so I guess if my button hand on the left gets tired, I can use my mouse to just go wee. <laughs> that's funny. Okay. Well, I don't want to just stand at this fire all night. So, unfortunately... Bye! Congrats on the new fire! Enjoy! <laughs> I might just, you know, pass out. Oh well, right? <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe their business will be saved now. So I think I just have to wait. So... Okay. An exclusive club. Maybe we go look for that dude's- oh shoot, we're freezing. <coughs> Oopsie daisy. Ah! There's no way we're making it anywhere. I need to get indoors. <laughs> nah, I'm fine. 
<laughs> Seeds. Where am I? Oh. Where at that in? Okay, let's, you know, go down morning. Just after eight. Yeah. So we're gonna have to wait to do that Blushwood Forest one till after we have some sort of what's it called? Some sort of oh coat. Because there is a way to get a coat. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. Okay. So, let's see. What else are we going to do? I want to try and finish something up. Let's see. Okay, let's let's go find the dude's amulet on the beach. Ooh, let's not take that. Actually, you know what? No. We're gonna look for the water fox. Because I feel like that one's, you know, a quick quest once I actually can find the water fox. So we'll see how long it takes. If it doesn't take long, then... Sweet, but if it does, then <laughs> there might be a little jump cut put into the video. Oh my, I swear, if this is it. Oh, look at that! We finally found it! Woo! Thank God. <laughs> Water Fox Den! We did it! Look! A water fox! So cute. Okay, let's do this. Egg, set bait. Maybe we back up a little. I don't know. Alright. Maybe we have to leave, leave. Oh boy, it's coming back. It's working! We got him! <gasps> there he is! You managed to trap him! I heard the shrieks all the way above ground! I need to administer the sound! Mm hmm. Go for it. The sounds are so sad sounding. Well, I guess I should thank you. I was ready to give up on this damn water fox. Listen, mm -hmm. it's pretty clear that you're a nature lover. I don't know how you managed to catch that animal, but I do appreciate it. Let me yep. show you how to make a snug tent. It should <gasps> be useful for someone like you. Yes! The country and all. It will give you a place to relax if you need to kill time, and shelter if you find night sneaking up on you. Yes! That's what I needed! Guys, I should have just done that in the first place! Oh my god. Okay, wait. Can we get, like, a close-up of the fox? Hello! Hi, cutie! Oh, I'm blocking its way, look! Aw, oh, dang it, I wanted to... <laughs> Cute! It's like a little blue fox! Aw, okay, now I'll leave it alone. <laughs> I'm just gonna end the episode here. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please, you know, leave a like. Please comment with suggestions, game ideas for the future. And yeah. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I love this game and I hope you're loving it. And I'm so excited for the new game that they're coming out with. I'm going to have to check that out. Um, and yeah, 
Of course, if you want to see more from me, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And I believe that's everything I needed to say. I am looking forward to wrapping up some quests next episode and diving into more of Nava quests next episode too. So yeah, thanks for watching and see ya!